Well, hello once again, and thanks for joining me for another blog post. As we all may be aware, if we're using newer versions of Autodesk Inventor, we're aware of all the great translators that are available. Some things we don't think about sometimes when we have to deal with large amounts of data we need to translate because of those great translators is how effectively we can do this utilizing Task Scheduler. In many cases, a lot of companies now with all these great translators have chosen Autodesk Inventor instead of the higher-end CAD systems to get their work done. It's actually a much more affordable and obviously a very robust system. So either if we're bringing in data from an outside source or we've done our work in Inventor and we need to push it back out, Task Scheduler now allows us to go through and import and export files with many of the translators that are available inside of it. So first we might need to think about, you know, how do we get to Task Scheduler if we haven't been there before? If I go to my startup menu and I go to my programs and I go to Autodesk and I choose Inventor, I can choose my tools and I can choose Task Scheduler. So definitely one of the easiest ways of getting to it. Once we have Task Scheduler open, whoops, looks like I closed it. But once we have Task Scheduler open, we now have the ability to go through and generate some tasks. So Task Scheduler has a lot of great functionality. So if we look under Create Task, there's a lot of different functionality we can utilize. And what we're going to do today is utilize the import files. So maybe I've you know taken a look at imported a lot of files from a, a specific customer. I'm getting a lot of data. So here if I just maybe go to my C drive and I look at maybe some CATIA data in this case that I may have received. Remember, we need to go down to our files of type. And here's all the different files. U utilizing Task Scheduler, we can directly import more of a batch process. So your alias, CATIA, JT, Parasolids, Pro Engineer, Step, SolidWorks, Unigraphics, NX. So all these great things are available. And now that we can just go through, select all the files we need to select, simply hit Open. And now we have the ability to see what we're gonna, our input files are. Our output folder, we can change that destination at the same time. And of course, our output file. So right now, we can see these are all being output to Inventor, of course. And don't forget, these, this is something you can also schedule for later. Maybe at the end of the day, you want it to run and bring in all your files or export all your files. So one, we can run these immediately. Or we have the ability to schedule a time and a date to even do this for us. So by selecting immediately, it's going to go through, it's going to create those files for me. I'll get a nice report. And it's going to go through and make this work and keep, keep me abreast of the progress it's making at the same time. Also at the same time, we again, we may have done all of our work inside of Inventor. So we have the export file option. We can go through, we can choose all the files to add in, just like we did. Or we have the ability to go through and add a folder too, so just another way of going about it. But here, if I'm going to look at some files maybe I want to bring in or export out, maybe I go to my workspace here, maybe I'll just grab a couple inventor files, I'll open those up. But what's our output file going to be? So now, again, we can utilize the files that are available to export. A little bit different than our import list, so we can go with the iGest, the CATIA v5 files, I believe version 18, version 5. 0.18, however CATIA does it today, our JT files, Parasolids, and a bunch of SAT and STEP files that we can also export. So utilizing Task Scheduler with the built-in translators with Autodesk Inventor can make our job of importing data and exporting data a whole lot simpler. So hopefully you learned a little bit of something today. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next week.